I'm not sure. Is anyone in here? All right. Well, now then. Uh, is anyone up there? Um, where is this? Where am I? Bury me. Where you can't see water. I can hear you all right. Um, over. Awesome. Leslie probably told you, we're an environmental group. Local governments will contract us to study the effects of deforestation or noise pollution. But my specific area of expertise is in strange or otherwise unique natural phenomena. Electrogravity, ion winds, you know, stuff like that. Now, over the last few months, Kamina's been overrun with disruptions in the electromagnetic spectrum. These frequencies act like radio waves, but as far as we know, aren't. And they're messing with the town's comm equipment, TV stations, even air traffic signals. The transmitters you'll place will relay any signals back to us so we can study them. Got it? Over. Okay. All right. That uh, makes sense, I think. I think I remember doing something like this in a high school science class. Yeah, it's a little weird, right? Hopefully this sort of thing is interesting to you. Your transmitters and climbing gear for the rocky terrain are being held with the very polite manager of the general store. Should be right in the center of the harbor. Go get them and then call me back, okay? Oh, and before I forget, uh, you have a walkie-talkie. You'll be using it to keep in contact with me and anyone else you need to chat with. Uh, do you need me to go over the basics of how to use it? Uh, no, that's all right. I think I got the hang of it. Over. All right, great. Okay, I think we've covered everything. Well, nice to... Riley, even if not in person yet, let me know when you got your gear, okay? General store. Okay, over and out. Last stop to Washington, they said. An hour from any town, they said. 
Ugh, I just cannot believe I forgot my headphones. Tickets for the ferry to Edwards Island. Children under seven must be accompanied by an adult. I wonder how many lonely eight-year-olds want to spend their weekends touring bird colonies. Doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, I should probably call Evelyn and let her know. What is this? A flyer? Learn about our free soul body health class. Luna has the power to heal. Join parentage. Keep to the stars. Blood, moon, tide. Huh. Hey, Evelyn. Is there like another general store nearby? Because there's nobody here, so... I don't know what to do. Over? Ah, oh, crud. Okay. You must have closed early. This isn't a deal breaker, though. Just head up the hill on your way to Camber Cave. Your partner, Jacob Summers, is having some car trouble, but he's got a transmitter you both can use for tonight. Over. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but what about the climbing gear? Don't I... Uh, don't we need that? Well, if Jacob gets his truck fixed, that'll help mitigate the need. But regardless, we'll have you do a simple one tonight that doesn't require climbing. Tomorrow you can start on the bad boys. Sorry, Riley. Uh, one sec. That can't be right. Hey, are, are you talking to somebody? Closed. Back Wednesday. Are you kidding? Okay, Riley, pull out your map and I can explain how to use it. So... As you can see, there's a lot of land to cover, and a lot of it is inaccessible unless you have climbing gear. All those rocks and cliffs and crap are too dangerous without rope and anchors. But Jacob's still at Copper Creek Trail, northwest of where you're at right now. Take the road and you'll get there pretty quick. Also, by the way, your map has a lot of useful information. Don't be afraid to whip it out if you ever get lost or forget what you're doing. Okay, I'll call you later when you're with Jacob. Thanks, Riley. Over and out. Some of these postings are pretty old. God, 20 bucks an hour for a babysitter? If she doesn't fly through the chimney with a school of singing penguins, that's a total ripoff. Missing. Lucy Pasterson, uh, age seven, uh, born 1979. Uh, this has been up for a while. <sighs> Hope you ran away to California, kid. Hi, I'm Riley. You're Jacob, right? I think we're doing a job together. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, how's it going? I'm I'm Jacob. Yeah, Evelyn, let me know you were on the way. Uh, you you, you kind of caught me in the middle of. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I, I can't get my truck to start. Yeah, this uh, was gonna be our ride around town for the job, but oh, 
Uh, do we need it? I, I think they hired me mostly because I had a truck. <laughs> so, maybe? L let's, uh, let's try something, though. The key's in the ignition. Could you just start up the engine real quick? I'm trying to see if it's the, uh... Um, sure. What the hell? Oh, thanks. It's just, I don't know what the issue is. Okay, uh, turn turn it off. Turn it off, please. Back. Well, thanks. I won't even try to explain what happened. Oof, sorry, dude. That sucks. Ah, it's all right. She gave me eight crappy years, which was more than I expected. Anyway, you help me out. I think we can call time of death on this one. Kylie and Jacob, did you guys meet up yet? Uh, this is Evelyn. Oh. Hey, Evelyn. Yeah, you got Riley and Jacob here. Over. Okay, great. Hi, Jake. Jake's great. He's a handyman regularly, but we were lucky to get his help with this. Your truck ready? You guys good to go? Uh, not yet, Evelyn. Jacob's truck was struck down by a mysterious illness. I think the engine's fried. Is our first transmitter point far? Over. try and get as much over air traffic as we can i see now why you asked if i had an all-terrain vehicle we're going to camber cape that's it's not far it's, it's a hike yeah you two are going to be planting transmitters all around kamina jacob you have transmitters right uh just one riley i'm strapped for space so uh could you grab the transmitter oh uh okay this thing i think i have the space I promise I won't think of you as our pack mule. Why even say that? Oh, neat. One tonight and a few more tomorrow when the general store opens. Okay, guys, I feel good about this. Really. Jacob, Riley, have any questions? I don't think I have any questions, no. If you run into any trouble or have any future questions, I'll be on most of the night. Thanks, Evelyn. Talk to you later. Okay, over and out. Oh, uh, Riley, real quick before we go, you see that radio on my truck? Uh, can you grab it? Sorry, but I, I kind of got my pockets full. Is it for work? They keep mentioning radio waves. It's kind of for work, yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks. I tried out. This far from town, we won't get the whole range, but I think we can get the uh, local baseball game. The tune it to 93.7. 3.7, the cheap seats. This is David Rapp. Bottom of the now 10 for the community crayfish. I used to watch crayfish games with my older brother like 20 years ago. But uh, thanks. It, it sounds great. Okay, by foot, Camber Cape is up this way. Shouldn't take too long. So, uh, Evelyn, she's, she's a little funny, right? Eh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I grew up around them. But that particular breed of small town, something... I'm a little nostalgic for it. <laughs> yeah. N not that it's a bad thing. Hey, uh, this is a really stupid time to bring this up, but, but when I heard your name, Riley, I... Well, do, do you remember junior year? This is Osmore's English class and uh, EE fifth period. We, we went to high school together. I dated your friend, uh, uh, Patty. You know, Butter Patty. We ran in different circles, but I just wanted you to know that I knew we knew each other. That's all. Okay, we knew each other. <clears throat> so, uh, hi, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. Uh, first day on the job topics. I'm what you call an independent contractor. You know, light fixtures, building a deck. But I signed up for this partly because of how weird everything's been. It, it's, it's why I brought the radio, actually. 
Evelyn won't get into it, but you can tune into super strange stuff if you know how to find it. Super strange stuff? I, like, more than just foreign stations bouncing off a satellite somewhere? Uh, yeah. Way more. It used to happen just on Edwards Island. It was a sort of inexplicable audiovisual phenomenon. Using any old radio, you could tune into physical objects. I'm curious if we'll get readings from the island. Okay, remind me, what's so special about Edwards Island? Isn't it like a tourist trap? Oh, it, it was. Still is, kind of. But people aren't really allowed there anymore. The hours are really limited. But uh, it was Fort Milner for decades, an old World War era bunker and military base. There's a lot of stories. But yeah, anyways, the effects, though, that radio effects has kind of bled from the island to around here now. Wapiti Trail, day hiking and biking only, sunrise to sunset. Wapiti means deer. Oh, uh, interesting. But anyways, yeah, the radio weirdness, you know, be being able to tune into things, has kind of come over to the coast now. From the island, I mean, that, that, that weird effect it had, but... I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm just blabbing about this. What's, uh, what brought you back? Is it temporary, or...? Uh, did you? Did you grow up here, in Camina? Oh yeah, born and raised. Right here, actually, on the outskirts, not in town. I'm a real parks kid, you know? Never really liked city living. Maybe to my detriment. Ah, uh, 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 slow up. Be careful around those logs. Sometimes it rains and stays slick overnight. <laughs> you overslip? Sounds like there's a, an anecdote there. <laughs> no. Well, I... once. Twice, but ne never seriously hurt. What's this? Oh, that? We have some off-color people living this far out from proper civilization. There's a group in town that performs, uh, nature rituals. You'll see evidence of it dotted around. This could be them. Whew, uh, this part's always a little tricky. Uh. Up a minute. There's a bench over here. Can we just take a quick second? I just need to rest my feet. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can take a minute. <laughs> I could use the break too. Oh, thanks. Just till my toes stop throbbing. <laughs> Turned out to be a really nice night. Yeah, it, uh, it is. Feels honestly a little like tornado weather. Which, they don't really happen in Oregon, you know? Maybe it's a sign. Uh, a sign of what? A tornado? Yeah, that. Or something else. All right. Thanks for the stop. Help me catch my breath. All right, we're getting close. Just over the crust, there should be a clear enough spot for the transmitter. Hours, sunrise to sunset. 
Used to be open till like 10, but someone spotted a bobcat a couple years back. Limited the hours. Closed. Locked. And locked. Damn it. The hell do I do? Huh. I don't know another way around. Maybe we should call Evelyn. Tell her we're at a bit of an impasse. Hey, uh, Evelyn, this thing is closed. Or locked. The way to the summit. Closes at sunset. Okay, uh, that's not ideal. See if you can, um, uh, I don't know. Stupid small town crap. I'll bet the bars close at like 2.30 in the afternoon. We gotta get that thing placed up top, so, uh, get creative. Over and out. I'd rather avoid tetanus, so no climbing this one. Don't forget about MRSA. Uh, what the hell is MRSA? Oh, it's just, just another uh, infection. Another kind of infection. Looks like the lock's on the other side. Hmm. Huh. I'd say let me boost you over, but that barbed wire says otherwise. Sorry this turned into a bit of a headache. I totally forgot that they lock parts of the park up after hours. This or nothing. Oh, well, that works too. It is a, uh, a proper climb, though. Eh, it's not as hard as it looks. Just find your foot before you grip. Mountaineering isn't exactly on my CV, so, uh, knock yourself out there, champ. Uh, f figuratively, come open up the gate after your topside. Evelyn, yeah, I'm at the summit. Over. Oh, perfect. So, when you plant the transmitter, you'll need to adjust it manually a little. Just fiddle with the dish so it aligns with the signal. You'll know when it happens. Sounds good? Over. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Got it. Great. Call me back if you get confused or anything. Over and out. Oh, hey, little animal burrow. That's cute, I guess. doubted me not for a moment well you grew up here right you ever buy that story about Edwards Island about the the submarine that went down near Fort Milner the USS Canaloa it was a uh, you know a casualty of war right the USS Canaloa was the only American submarine down in enemy combat in American waters it happened right off the coast of Edwards Island 1943 during World War II but, uh, you know, some people don't fully buy it. Uh, don't buy what? What do you mean? They think it's a lie? Well, some people say it was friendly fire, that we accidentally bombed our own sub. Sounds kind of thin. You would think if something like that actually happened, any more than two people couldn't keep it a secret. That's, well, well that's a comforting way to look at it. Uh, you could be right. Uh, but, uh, you know. If you're willing to bend your brain a bit, there's always the other, other story. Uh, go on. Do you believe in ghosts? Sure. It's a little weather-worn, but this is nice. They used to have one of those coin-operated binocular things up here. And someone kept sticking gum over the eye holes. It really lost its luster. But, uh, about the cantaloupe. Some people 
maybe even some people standing right next to you, think the crew members of the USS Kenaloa got... Oh, whoa. See that? Over Edwards Island. Oh, that storm cloud looks nuts. Wow, cool. A lightning storm or something like that? Yeah, maybe. We might want to do this quick. Okay, so, the transmitter needs to be adjusted manually. Just move the, the thingy until the what's-it connects to a source frequency. Yeah, it's working great. I, uh, think. So, what's, uh, what's next? This was our only transmitter for the night. Back it in? Let's, uh, l let's actually call Evelyn real quick. Make sure they're getting the feed. Hey, uh, Evelyn, we did it. We planted the transmitter. Looks good on our end. Over. Hey, Riley. Yeah, the readings just coming in now. There they are. The signal's clear. You guys did a great job. Oh, uh, hold up one second. Okay. This is a little weird. Uh, guys, tell me, what color is the little light blinking? Uh... Jesus! Wait, what is that? Do you see that? Over Edwards Island? Riley, did you know... Is this... Is this right? Riley! What's going on? The readings are a little... Weird... Over here. Uh, uh, Riley, is this normal? I don't... Riley! Turn off the transmitter! It's... What? It's, just turn What's it off! What's Lightning? What? Wait. There, there's someone who here. is she? She did something. She whatever she did, fried our antenna. Mom, come on. You tell me all the time. Don't let the concerns of others concern you. Right? What what? Oh, uh, sorry, I think I dozed off for a second. Hey, hi! <laughs> That's okay, uh, I'm just glad you picked up and that the walkie's working. I'm Evelyn, a new researcher with the lab like you. This is the start of my fourth week, actually. I'm by Oval Beach, it's about 20 miles out, but I can hear you okay, surprisingly. Can you hear me? Over. I'm, Evelyn, I think I'm, I, I might be sick or something, I'm just I'm not feeling very well right now. Oh, that's... I'm sorry. Are you not able to perform your duties, you don't think? Or... I already did my, you know, my duties. I planted the first transmitter. We already did all of this. Already did all of what? You... You didn't talk to anyone else, right? This is your first day with us, right? I... I don't even really understand what I'm saying myself, Evelyn. Um, over. It's okay, Riley. I'll... Uh, let's... Let's get through the instructions here, and maybe we can circle back. You're going to be, uh, placing transmitters? That's, uh, that's the, the job. In your backpack, you'll find most of your equipment. Should be four transmitters and a test radio. Now, here's where I confess that I completely messed up, and I totally forgot to pack your climbing gear. I'm choosing to blame the unforeseen hangover. This is just so strange. I know, I'm normally on top of this stuff, but, eh, what can you do? <laughs> Talk to you soon. Over and out. Ah, uh, damn it. Hey, kid, can you can you help me? You I, I think keep I'm keep away. Keep away from all of this. For your own good. This isn't for you. Are you doing this? Time is... Just leave it alone. Don't... Don't listen to them. Don't do anything. Stay back! Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Riley? Answer, please. Over. 
no, I... Hey, hi! Thank God! I didn't know if you'd be in range. I just wanted to tell you that... Actually... Man, have you ever gotten a deja vu? Because I am getting a serious... Yeah, I, I think we keep repeating this same moment. I'm, I'm not sure, but... Riley? Uh, are you still there? You're getting bad. <laughs> hey, Evelyn? I'm, I'm here. I, I, I'm still... Come on, boys. Come out to play. The moon does shine as bright as day. Come with a hope. Come with a call. Come with goodwill. Or not at all. Who... who is this? Our antenna, it broke. They planted the beacon thing and it ruined everything. It got overworked. I'll have to, to repair it, re rebuild it, or no. somehow. Or... Well, ruined. Oh, it's her again. She keeps trying to. Again? Did I just. Uh, okay. Again it is. Okay, so now what the hell is this? I feel like whatever that was stopped because of that machine, or... Uh, I don't know. God, I hope Jacob's okay. Maybe he went back to his truck. This is going to be okay. The forest is the town of trees, where they live quite at ease, with their neighbors at their side, just as we in cities wide.
Jacob, are you in there? Answer, please. I don't know what the hell is going on. Ah, Christ! Hey, Jesus! Good Lord, that... I'm sorry, you scared me. Whew. Gotta get my heart a second. You scared me, are you kidding? Oh, God. Sorry. Oh my God. R Riley, this is... I don't know what happened. Do you know what happened? I, I was... We were planning the transmitter. I have no idea what happened. I, you... You're okay, though? I'm... I, I don't know. Are you okay? You seem... Alive. Which is maybe more than I can say for myself right now. I... Think I'm okay? Yeah! Ah! Hey, guys! Are you there? Oh, it's... It's Evelyn. Maybe she has, like, any idea of what the hell is going on? Yeah, here's, uh, here's hoping. Hey, Evelyn, we're, we're here. Did, did you see or do you know anything about what happened out here? A bolt of lightning or something came out of the transmitter and it, 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 it kind of knocked us out for a bit, but we somehow made it back to my truck. I don't, we don't know what happened. D do you? Over. Oh, jeez, guys, I, I don't, I honestly don't think it was lightning. I don't have eyes over there, but the readings on our end are completely flipping out. You need to go back to Camber Cape and see what the transmitter is doing, right now. Uh, oh, really? Well, if, if, if you could see what's going on. Evelyn, this is Riley. Sorry, but there's no way we're going back there. I'll hitch back to the airport. You can keep my check. Whoa, whoa. Uh, isn't there, isn't there someone you can send out, Evelyn? There's nobody to send. I'm sorry, but we're too far out to get to it in time. Time to do what? It's time for us to figure out what's going on before it gets any worse. I hate to ask you to do this, but it's very important you go back there and check it out. <sighs> okay. All we have to do is look at the transmitter and tell you what it's doing. Fine. We'll just do it and regret the decision later. Great. Yeah, but we need assurances. Time and a half. And medical. In case our damn skin melts off. I am sure we can cover expenses, Jacob. Just... Please double time it and get back to that transmitter. Thank you both so, so much. Really, uh, let me know when you get there. Over and out. Here, the walkie I had near the transmitter died, so I assume yours did too. This should work. Man. Okay. Uh, ready? Because I'm not sure I am. Look, I, I know this really sucks what we're about to do, but I don't know what's going on. But but it seems extremely bad is all I can muster right now. And we're the only ones out here that knows anything about it. So I feel like sometimes people are put in positions where they can most matter. And this feels like it matters. Right? Man, Jacob, I, I really love to believe that. Well, you should. If only for the next hour or so. It helps, trust me. Wait, wait, listen. Their transmitter That's... knocked everything out of- Hey, whoever this is, quit whatever you're doing before this- whatever this is gets any worse. Oh no, Riley. Ah, huh. it's you. You know, they did mention something about a stranger coming with a shield she thinks is a sword. I didn't think it'd be a 45-year-old with a transmitter. But I guess that's my fault for assuming things. Who's they? Who are you talking about? They. 
flying saucers that abducted those cows ten years ago. Charlie, are you still there? Yeah. Head to the ranger station. You can get the receiver there. We need it to fix the antenna, okay? Oh, and Riley? Riley Poverly, right? How's the new job? You like it? Is it working now? Are you there? Okay. Haha. -ha. How do you know that I got a new job? Because they never lie to me. Watch for the stars. They will be your guide. Over and out. That doesn't sound good. They sound young. You have any idea who they could be? Uh, I, I don't know. One of them sounds familiar, but I'm not sure yet. Let's, let's just hurry up and see what the transmitter's doing. Come on! What the hell could... Why, why is it doing this? I have no earthly idea, Riley, but we can figure that out when we stop it. Okay, this, uh, this looks very volatile. It's affecting something over Edwards Island. You see that? What the hell is that? The giant thing in the sky. It looks like, like a giant hole in the sky. How is that possible? Is the transmitter really affecting it? It's beaming some kind of energy to it, but... Riley, this is gonna sound... I, I, I don't know, but this is all... I've heard about this. Someone told me this was possible years ago. She... No one really believed her, but she knew. Maybe 30, 40 years ago, she knew. Jacob, what are you talking about? Wait, Riley, do you, do you hear that? There's... Uh, hear what? You don't hear that? It sounds like... It, it sounds like... Kids. Jacob? Jacob, can, can you hear me? J J Jacob! Oh, I can't believe this. J Jacob! What is that noise? No, my... I'm not leaving you, Jacob. Just, just stay with me. But, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense.
Closing. You gotta go home. Hey! What? Anyone know her? What's. Anyone that? friends with this woman? Anyone? How'd I. No? How'd I get here? This... How'd you get here? How are you getting home? That's the. That's what we're. Hey! Wait, buddy. You were talking to her earlier. Jacob, I mean... I, are, are we in... This is Garland? God, this is crazy. The time glitches, the jumping around. Riley, I think I might know what's going on. But first, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, looks like a climbing anchor. Well, I won't be able to use this unless I get some rope somewhere. Evelyn, you there? Over. Oh, I don't think we can get through. Look, I, I... I think I know what might be going on, but it's going to take some explaining. My cottage is just up the way here. I might have something that could help. It's not very far. You live in a... in a cabin? Like a log cabin? Well, I say cottage. But yeah, it's, it's, it's been in my family for a while. We were one of the few allowed to build on the land. It's technically part of the park. Anyways, I took this job because I've been into this stuff ever since I was young. And I'm not just randomly into radio technology. I mean, I know, I know what transmitters are for a reason. When I was a kid, there was this older lady who lived in town. Well, she lived on Edwards Island, really, but she got her groceries and stuff in town. She studied this stuff. Weird frequencies, signals, she had lots of theories no one believed, or would believe. When we were kids, we were kind of friends, and I, I have a lot of her journals still.
And the cabin's just up uh, this way. Not that it's gonna wow your socks off or anything, but I like to explain to people that I inherited it. Yeah, just, just so you don't think. It's not like this is my beach house or anything. My parents had me and my brother old and both died in our 20s. Hey, it's pretty cool to get a free cabin. Well, free in a sense. I didn't have to pay for it, certainly, but I've paid for it, you know? The cabin and the money left me and my parents' will means that I have to work. But it's not, like, a huge deal, basically. I, uh... <laughs> I used to worry this made me a boring person. Yeah, I wouldn't tell dates or people. I'm compelled to remind you that this place was an inheritance. I'm not a secret billionaire. Just look at my shoes. I like it. It's like if a tree fork could grow up. Hey, thanks. I try to keep it ship shape. All the stuff that we need is inside. Should just take a minute. I know exactly where it is. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Do we need to review doors again? No, I... The door is locked, which it should be. The keys, however, are not where they should be. They're... Oh, I can picture it. They're in the kitchen drawer. I was moving things around this morning. And I forgot to put them back in my pants. I'm starting to get worried that this isn't your house. Should I be? Well, I could show you my driver's license if that wasn't also inside. I watched a video on how to pick locks. I think I remember the host's hair color. Yeah, I'll tool around with it for a bit. And if push comes, I'll just unscrew the damn thing. Did that? No. Okay. Uh. Maybe? No. surprised I need to get up there hmm. really this should reach the window this is going to take a while Hey, can we just get in from here? Absolutely. If my truck was here with the garage door opener. Sorry. Encyclopedia Brown, a biography of Guglielmo Marconi, I don't know who that is, and an eighth grade science textbook. Jacob, you are a man of interesting tastes. I have no idea. Oh. Not bad for an amateur. Oh, his brother. Didn't think they'd be twins.
Hello? Better three hours too soon than a minute too late. The waiting be hell, I am to wait. Better three hours too soon than a minute too late. Okay, weird. Dude, learn to boil rice, come on. <laughs> ah! Of course. Hey, you there? Come let me in. Thanks. Yeah, how'd you get in? You left your upstairs window open. I used your ladder. Oh, I left that open again. God. I'm gonna find a barn owl in there chewing on my pillow one of these days. Uh, the journal should be just over here. I know there was one where she talked about gates. Windows to perpendicular spaces. I know it's in here. So, do you eat anything other than pizza? Um... No, I really thought about lying there, but uh, the evidence is pretty damning. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, this is it. W one of the journals that belonged to Maggie Adler. She was stationed at Fort Milner, right here on the coast when the submarine crashed. She said it was a mistake, that the whole thing had an experimental engine or something. And that when it blew up, something happened to the reactor. It split the crewmen from our reality. Force them in between time, in between dimensional planes. They were gone. Seriously? Come on. Why didn't anyone find out about it? How could they keep it a secret? I believe three people can keep a secret if exposure would cost them their lives. Maggie did all these experiments and, and, and research in the last half of her life. She discovered radio waves can reach through planes of existence. It can, it can affect the past and, and the future. But, you know, without hard proof, without the knowledge of the inciting incident, no one really except me believed her. Okay. Okay, I think I buy this as much as any other plausible enough sounding explanation. Just look, this one, she told me about ghosts, about people she cared about, a woman named Anna that died to one of those things. She called them gates, and I think that big triangle thing in the sky is one of them. I could barely understand what she was talking about. How, uh, how did our friend Anna die? She didn't really get into the details, just that during an experiment, something went wrong. Miss Adler said she spoke through a, a portal or a gateway or whatever to a Sergeant Griffin years after he died. He was on the USS Canaloa, stuck in time. All right, so all of this happened in like the 40s or something, right? Why is this happening now all of a sudden? That portal over on Edwards Island? Whoever did that? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it was an accident based on what we heard on the walkie. But uh, just wait, there's more here. What we need is this guy. Uh, yeah, here it is. She writes, huh. Jacob, come on! What'd she say? Oh, yeah, sorry. She's... Uh, she, she says that... Harmonizing electromagnetic waves emitted towards a gate could successfully diffuse its source signal. See? See, so that's... This, this is what I thought when the transmitter went crazy. Th that first one was diffusing the signal and starting to cancel out th the gate. So... Transmitters can diffuse the source signal. We can use them to stop it. Based on what Maggie thinks, at least. So, we use the transmitters then, right? Enough of them should knock out its power. Yeah, I think. I mean, we saw what the one did. Which is definitely what we want to do. Because, you know, Ma Maggie says, she wrote here, that, that gates or portals, whatever you want to call them, can, in theory, destabilize the properties of our current existence. Which doesn't sound good. Yeah, all right, I get the gist. I think bad stuff will happen. What's what's next? The general store is holding our transmitters, right? And climbing gear? Because if that's the case... They should? At least that's what Evelyn said. So I know the owner. 
and I know where the key is, so that's no problem. After that, we'll have to put another three transmitters to triangulate the right harmonic frequency. The math dictates they have to be roughly equidistant and at the same height. So for us, that means a clear view of Edwards Island to compete with the signal traffic and get through to the other side of the harbor. After that... Sounds like something that makes just enough sense that I'll go along with it until it doesn't work. That's about the level of confidence I'm at, too. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's get back to the general store, get those transmitters and gear. I just hope we're right. Riley! Riley, are you there? Pick up right now! Oh. Uh, I'm a little busy here, Evelyn. You need something? Over. Yeah. Uh, what's going on with the transmitters? The readings we're getting on our end here look really bad. We just know, based on these figures, there's something electromagnetic that's building in intensity. Evelyn, hey, it's Jacob. Yeah, we know it's bad and, and getting worse, but we figured out that if we use the transmitters to nullify the bad frequencies, it can diffuse them completely. You figured it out? Figured it out how? And we figured it out with the power of science and uh, Jacob's knowledge of all this stuff. Just, just don't worry, we know what to do. The transmitters will act as a net. It would be like the old radio towers. The geography's bend is like a natural amplifier. All we'd have to do is just place them high above sea level and it'll knock out the signal that's screwing everything up. Hmm. Uh, actually, this, that might work. Ah, and the stuff you need is just sitting at the general store right now. Ugh. That's not a big deal. That's Fred Hollinger's place. He's a buddy of mine. He keeps a spare key to the front door behind the back doormat. Hey, and I was gonna suggest just throwing a brick through the window. Okay, let's go. All right, I got a lot of stuff to get ready over here. Good luck, guys. Godspeed. Over and out. Oh, and Jacob. Sorry, I forgot. Did you ever find Athena? Oh, uh, uh, no. Not, uh, not yet. You know, I, I'm sure she'll turn up soon. Country dogs can handle anything, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, th th thanks for checking. Over and out. <coughs> Sorry, I, uh, my, my dog, Athena, got out last night. She goes on walks by herself all the time, but this is the first time she hasn't come back right away. Something spooked her, but... Oh, man, that's... that's the worst. I'm sorry. Well, I'm... no, I'm... I'm sure she's okay. She... she goes off all the time. I'm hoping we'll just run across her. Ow, ooh, sorry. Uh, the rocks are a little slippery.
You know, I, I used to think about Maggie Adler and just what she used to tell me about all this, at least an hour of every day. With time, it faded, you know, like everything. But I never stopped playing around with radios, trying to prove her right, trying to vindicate her a little. Everything that's been going on these last few months has really stirred up a lot. It'd be so absolutely crazy if this has to do with her. You sound like you miss her. I mean, we were pals, you know? I used to practically live at the library, and she'd come and check out books on electromagnetism. She'd ask what I was reading. No one else would. She was, uh, she was a character. And I was so young. I don't know. I was a kid and bored and my house sucked, so, you know, why not hang out with some weird old lady who believed in magic? Eventually, I'd stopped going to the library. I'd read all the Encyclopedia Browns anyway. And she just carried this weight on her. You could see it in her trembles. It just got to be too much eventually. The sadness was like radiation. You, you can only be around it so much. Before... Can we visit her? Maybe she can help? She, uh, she, she died a few years back. I actually went to the funeral. Her only request was to be buried somewhere you couldn't see water. They did it on a hill, southern side of town. Okay, made it. Just this way to the general store. Cross your fingers, he never moved the key. Just, uh, follow me. It's right here. Okay, key should be right under the mat. Real high-tech security, you know? Ah, I'm stealing gum. It's happening. Which one? I'll take fresh breath to good karma any day. Do it to it? Eh, I'm all talk. Besides, the amount of fake sugar in these things, I don't need to grow an eyeball on my foot. That's technically DNA, right? It, it depends on who you ask. So we just won't ask anyone. There's the gear. Let's go. Mind if I take a look at the gear? A few more transmitters, and... That looks like a climbing rope, clasps, everything we'll need. Which, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that part. Try not to think about that. Ugh. Don't worry about the climbing part. With the rope, it's pretty easy, honestly. Easy for some people. Now we're set. Anyways. Let's just, let's just focus on fixing it. We got our gear, we got our map. We're not restricted to the beaten path, so to speak. We should start walking to as above sea level as we can get. Take a look at your map and let's pick where we wanna go. Have an idea of where we're going? Uh, yeah, I think so. Doesn't seem too difficult. Okay, yeah. Let's do it.
Olivia, Olivia Massel, are you there? Over. Oh, wait, hold up. Stay off the walkie. Olivia's at Garland, where the receptions are. Over and out. Olivia Massel? I thought she sounded familiar. Have you heard that name before? Massel? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, Olivia Massel is the teenage daughter of, uh, I mean, well, the easiest way to say it is they're a cult. The Massels. A well-known group of nutter butter lunatics. Extremely wealthy, very insular, very private. Her mom and dad actually died in a prop plane crash almost four years ago, but she lives with her aunt and uncle now. That weird thing on the trail path? That's them. Parentage, they call themselves. And there are stories. All right, Jacob, seriously, what are you suggesting here? Hey, I'm just saying what I know and what I've heard, and you can take it or leave it. I just, I, I think it's her. Okay, so take this anchor. Somebody left this behind, which is good, because rope climbing requires them. See, just slide the rope through and hook. I haven't done this since basic, but riding a bike and all that. Uh, just take it slow. <laughs> For me. Man, I was really hoping to avoid this, but uh, take a walk on the wild side, Jake. Oh, God. I'm proud of you, Jacob. You're a rock climbing fool. Oh, I'm a fool, all right. But thanks. There's a weird looking lock on the door. It might be a radio lock. One of those things that needs a calibrated radio to tune open. They use alternate frequency RF signals to control the deadbolt. If we had a radio with a broader range, we could tune in its code and unlock it. Hmm. Ah, oh, man. Well, I don't think we can get around. It'll be impossible to get in unless we find one of those radios. Ugh. Come on, we, we should go. We still have other transmitters and other locations we can plant in the meantime. Yeah, okay. Riley, you there? Over. Hey, Evelyn, what's going on? Over. I just wanted to see how you were doing and how it's looking out there. Over. Evelyn, uh, how do I put this? This stuff, the, the portal above Edwards Island is really affecting just everything. It's hard to stay in one time and, and place here. Over. I know this sounds insane, but... No, I, I don't think you're insane, Riley. Our weather station and relay measurements are... Well, the numbers are... Otherworldly. Way off track from where they should be. Yeah. Yeah, Jim, I know. Sorry, a co-worker's letting me know he couldn't get his car started. It's okay. Riley, I want to stick to the plan. Still plant those transmitters, but... Can you do me a favor? Could you give me a call whenever you plant a transmitter? It would help me help you with what's going on. Just to get a reading straight. That sound all right? Over. Oh, I think maybe I lost you. Crap. All right. If you can hear me, call whenever you need anything. Channel 7. Over and out.
they uh, when they hired me for this, they said I was going to have to work with somebody. And I said, you know, that's fine. What, uh, what can you tell me about them? And they said, all we can tell you is that she used to live here and then she moved away. And now she's moved back. And, and I remember thinking, that's funny. I never heard of anyone ever coming back. Um, tell you the truth, Jacob, in my case, this was the only job I could get. I'd burned a few too many bridges, and uh, not a lot of employers will take bartender references on an application. So, I needed to come back, really. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, got it. Hey, you know, your dad rewired my folks' garage when I was a kid. How's the, how's he doing? Still an electrician? It's been a minute since I've seen him in town. But I, I don't venture too far from the outskirts nowadays. He's, uh, you know, he's fine. Still paints his little models. Last one was a Revolutionary War platoon or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I think I, I remember him being into those. Look, you, you, you came back because he needed this job, and I know that it's going terribly wrong so far. But it's only the first day. I, who knows what tomorrow will be like? Hey, you're right. Maybe it'll get even worse. <laughs> yeah, cross your fingers. This building looks like Lewis and Clark could have slept here, but the uh, security's new. Maybe it's a meeting house now or something? Oh, this place? No, no, this is the, the uh, Heritage Building. They're the permanent residents. They rent it for their church functions. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's keep moving. I was meaning to ask, when you were, uh, you know, in my house, in my bedroom is this, uh, thing I've been working on for, like, for, like, years. Clay sculpture? I can't remember if I covered it up or not, but, um, assuming I didn't, and assuming you took a look, and assuming you formed an opinion upon looking, what might that opinion be? Lots of assumptions there, I realize. Yeah, I saw it. It was kind of hard to miss. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm ever going to get it downstairs. So, thoughts, questions, comments? Minor criticisms that'll keep me awake at 2 a.m.? Under this hat, I'm all ears. And conditioner. I think you work better with metal. No shame in that. In fact, it helps to know your strengths. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I figured, you know, branch out some. But sometimes you branch, and that branch is torn down by hurricane winds. Maybe someday it'll leave the bedroom, have the world uncover it, you know? Let's see if it was worth the dirty fingernails. <laughs> Maybe.
wonderful word. You know, how it lets you off the hook of responsibility in such a gentle way. Man, total strikeout tonight in terms of luck. Broken truck, lost dog, and now uh, this situation. However you classify it. Because I have no idea. Last night I had a dream. I was taking a walk and someone was approaching. It turned out it was me. And like, n not a mirror, it was another me. Only, he didn't have a face. A and then I reached up to see if I did, but... Athena barked me awake before I could find out. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it just came to me right now. Pops out of nowhere. Sorry. Anyway, shake it off, Summers, right? <laughs> right. What is this? Oh, no way. I buried this. When I was a kid, Maggie had me bury letters for her. Weird, I know, but she paid five bucks each. I promised I'd never read any of them. Never did. Never will. Keep your eyes open. I guarantee there are more of these out there. Something must have gone wrong with their... whatever they were doing. done with all of this, you should come back here. Like this area. Best sunset view in town. Five crisp dollar bills in your pocket, you find a better one. But, uh, you won't. But still. Sunsets on Mars are blue. Did you know that? Something about the, uh, the dust? In the atmosphere? Blue Martian sunset. Saw it on the nature show. Because, you know, technically, outer space is part of nature. I'm kind of jealous, you know? I mean, I'm totally down with, uh, earthly and sunsets. No complaints. But, I don't know. Makes you wonder what else is out there. And how much of it we'll never get to see. Maybe that's just me. Envy no more, my man. We're going to Mars. You, me, Athena, pack some snacks. Ha! You can pick the tunes.
We'll just take the short path down to the beach, and then it's uh, just across the way. Should be a good lookout for a transmitter location past that. Watch, uh, watch your footing. It gets kind of steep. I think we're close to the ranger station, too. You do this so fast. Just take it slow. No need to rush and slip and, you know, die. No, that would defeat the purpose. Ah, another anchor. See? We can climb down from here. Oh, goody. <clears throat> First time. Back at the gym in a while? You kidding? This is my uh, happy place. <laughs> hey, that's Olivia's friend, Charlie. Hey, buddy. Wait up. Open the gate. Hey, you, lady, you and uh, Gingerbread here better quit following us, Ugh, or bad me? things are gonna happen. Uh, who's Gingerbread? Is that Jacob? Did you two just meet or something? This is stupid. Look, whatever you and your little friends are Don't doing- Don't follow me. Don't follow us. Stop what you're doing. Last warning. Wait! And Gingerbread, come on. Are these your work hours or something? You look exhausted. And I mean that in a bad way. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you eat something? And go to hell also. It's okay. We'll get them next time. There has to be another way. Oh, it's just mm, so annoying. If we'd gotten here just two minutes earlier. <sighs> okay. Okay, it's I'm fine. There's probably a key for the lock at the ranger station. It's just up here. Ugh. So, uh, gingerbread. What's... Yeah, 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 uh, gingerbread. It's... Uh, this is incredibly dumb, but... Two summers ago, I was at the beach and I went to go to the bathroom in a, you know, one of the latrines they have there. And as a prank, some high schoolers pushed it over. And I fell out practically naked, and they call me gingerbread now, as a goof. And that's it. Not a whole lot to explain. Oh, uh, okay. That's, uh, yeesh. Yeah, it sucked. But, you know, whatever. They're kids, I'm an adult. It's fine. Yeah, they can laugh all they want. I don't have homework. Oh. <sighs> Okay. Whew, okay. That's the ranger station, so you're welcome. Jesus, what happened here? Looks like, like, parentage ransacked the place. Or ha had a seance? God, I have no idea. What could these symbols mean? Ranger! Are you, uh, in the bathroom? No? Crap. There's broken glass over here. That guy, God, he totally wrecked the place looking for comm equipment. Little thief must have taken the ranger's walkie. 
Is there a phone? There has to be. We might be able to call out. Oh, yeah, there should be one under something. Hey, found a key. There's no markings, but a pink sticker. Oh, awesome. That has to be for the gate. Well, it doesn't have to be, but, you know, hopefully. I'm calling 911. Just give me a sec. Okay. I don't think it's working. Uh, okay. Well, we can try redialing the last received number. Maybe it's just 911 that's not, you know, working. But that might be a dead end, too. I don't know. I'll, uh, just redial the last number. Okay. This is Shelly, Park Ranger at Oberon Station. You're a park ranger. We're at the, the, uh, the Turnstone Forest Station, and we need assistance. Oh, this is Turnstone? I, I just called there. I'm getting a few scattered reports of an electrical storm in your area. Riley, and tell her what's going on. Fires have started. Have you seen anything? And is Local 43 on standby? Look, uh, Shelly, I, I know what you're talking about, but it's, it's not an electrical storm. Something else is going on, and I, I don't know how much I can get into it without you just hanging up, but... Okay, slow down. First, can I ask who I'm speaking with? Uh, Riley? Riley Poverly? I grew up here. So, Riley. It's not a storm. Something else is going on. Okay. I would normally write this up as tomfoolery, but I've been getting too many off-color calls tonight. And I've been hearing other things on my patrols. Stuff I would normally chalk up to coffee-induced auditory hallucinations. But you couple these with the phone calls... It's been an interesting night, to say the least. Real interesting. Times two. I have to go check something out, but if you have a walkie, I'm on one. Talk to you in a second. Hey, Riley, you there? Over. Yeah, Shelly, I'm, I'm here. Perfect, you sound clear. All right. Is there anything else I can help you with? Over. Um, just out of curiosity, where are you right now? Over. I'm at the Oberon outpost, 15 and three quarter miles from you. All right, I have to leave, but I'll be in touch. You do the same, over and out. Yeah, she seems nice. If you say so. with a bunch of districts listed. I guess to delineate which ranger takes which patch of forest in case of anything. I don't know if we'll find the park ranger geographical coding system particularly helpful at this point. What's this? Oh, did they stuff a squirrel? A little plaque says Nutty the Squirrel. I'm sure there's a, a story there. Oh, you know what? Sorry, I just remembered. How's, uh, your dad doing? The yeah, last time I saw him was back in high school. Yeah, but we were, uh, I was at the grocer, and he was before me in line. And the clerk asked about you or something? And, uh, your dad mentioned how Riley is a name after something? Is there a story there? Or... It's just some dead soldier that died in some town in Dublin. Not much of a story. But no, that's, that's cool. He also, your dad mentioned how proud he was that you I guess you just enlisted and he was proud of you following in his footsteps I don't think it was bullcrap for what it's worth yeah cool yeah
So guys, thanks for watching part one of Oxenfree 2. My favorite game was, of course, Oxenfree 1. Has a lot of cool element. The second one is also fun. It has a little bit more elements. You got walkie-talkies, you're climbing up and down ropes, you got mountain gear and stuff like that. So far, so good, guys. So stay tuned for part two very soon. And as usual, I'm going to ask you to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And again, thank you for watching another gameplay by the Sega Brothers. This is Patrick Ravel, signing off. Ciao.